the famed Actors' Church, St Paul's Church, Covent Garden. This magnificent piece of architecture was designed by Inigo Jones and was built in 1633. And it was the final resting place, or at least the grounds were, for many uh, notable characters in the area. And one such character was the well-known Lady of the Night, and also Madam, and that was Betty Careless. Although she was probably christened Elizabeth Carless. But what tended to happen was many of these uh, harlots would have changed their names or would have adopted a moniker, a name that suited them their, perhaps, professions and personalities slightly more. So, dear old Betty Careless, she uh, became notorious in the area in the 1700s, uh, the peak of the sex trade. She established herself in Covent Garden as a board once she became a little bit more, um, you know, uh, seasoned as, as, a, as a harlot. And she took to heavy drinking and, you know, went the way of many um, prostitutes, courtesans of the time. By 1735, she'd actually given up her house in Covent Garden and she uh, pretty much drank herself to death and drank herself into a pauper's grave. Um, <clears throat> and she was uh, marked as having been buried in, Saint, in the grounds of the St Paul's uh, Actors Church and featured in one of Hogarth's uh, etchings. His series called The Rake's Progress, the final eighth plate, features our rake who has uh, descended into madness and is in bedlam, and he has apparently carved the cause of his misfortunes, his madness, on the nearby stairwell, and if you're a, cl a close look reveals that it says, Charming Betty Careless.